I am going to submit for your review today what I believe could be the most shameful moment of the Trump administration so far. And it's an interview of Katrina Pearson appearing on Fox News and straight up lying to Ed Henry's face repeatedly, boldly, confidently about known facts that are on audio recording. So let me catch you up about all this. This relates to the Trump N word recordings, which seem to be bringing out the absolute worst pathetic lying in everybody who's surrounding Trump. It started when former Trump staffer Omarosa Manigo Newman claimed that there are recordings of Trump using the N word when talking about black people. And she also specifically said that Trump campaign advisor Katrina Pearson is on one of these recordings talking about how should they spin? How can they spin Donald Trump's use of the N word? Katrina Pearson appeared on Fox News Monday night. I've already told you about this. And when she appeared on Monday night, she said no such tape exists. No, I was never party to such a conversation and no such tape exists. But then the next day, Tuesday, as you know, the recording was released. We've heard a recording. We heard a tape of exactly the conversation that Katrina Pearson just hours earlier denied ever having been party to once again, confirming that she's a bold faced, unabashed liar. So Fox News does what I think is actually the right thing, which is they bring her back. And then Ed Henry says, hey, here's what you said yesterday. Then this tape got released. It seems you're not telling the truth. So we're going to go through this in pieces. Here is my challenge to you. Try to follow what she's saying. That's it. It's a very simple challenge. Try to even understand the recursive and obvious lies that she tells here. Let's start digging into it. So it. apparently Omar Omarosa was watching us last night because I understand it's got an email that she told Trevor Noah at The Daily Show. She heard you tell me you knew nothing about a conference call uh, talking about whether the president used an N word. You said this was a movie script. So she says she released at least one of these audio tapes to show you lied to us. Well, look, first of all, that's not true as well. So there are two things that occurred last night in our discussion. You had read for me a book ex excerpt mm -hmm. that I had not seen because her book had not come out yet. And you referenced me having been speaking to the president about this issue. And that is false. OK, so let, let's let's stop right there. So right away, she's reading this written statement and she misreads it and she talks about an excerpt and she tries to change the discussion from whether she had a conference call about Trump's N word news new, uh, uh, use to whether she spoke to Trump about his N word use. This is the theme answering questions that were not actually asked by Ed Henry, commenting on things Ed Henry doesn't even mention. And Ed Henry, bless him, he tries to short circuit it and he decides to jump in and play the clip from the previous night. But see if you can even follow this nonsense. OK, so let me get to the facts. I don't I don't want to get to side issues. Bottom line is you're saying there's one call with Jason Miller, one without Jason Miller. Let's yes. we'll get to Miller in a second. The one without Jason Miller on CBS, Omarosa says, according to a transcript you provided me of part they have not aired yet. Omarosa says, yeah, it's out there, meaning the N word tape. It's just and Katrina Pearson cuts in. Yeah, he said it. Ah, bleep. OK. That is a rough, roughly what she said in the book that you cursed, as I asked you last night, and you said he said it. He used the N word. You denied that to me. Last Absolutely. Time. You know why? Because I'm refuting a claim that Omarosa made, and I'll say it again, on Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie. Let's not talk the, about Chuck Todd. Let's no, talk about this no, tape. Hang on. Hang, pardon me. I'm going to be polite to you, but no, no, no. I'm not going to do side issues. Pardon me. Ed Henry's trying, right? I mean, he, he is trying to not let her talk about other shows and other things because he doesn't want to talk about that stuff. He wants an answer to here's how Omarosa described your participation in her book. And it matches up exactly to the transcript of the release tape that we now have. And you've been denying all of it all along. These are obvious lies. And she just wants to talk about other things. And it continues. Take a look. Tell no, you no, what no, I'm no. refuting. The, she made the a claim tape that says I said, that you said he said it. Absolutely not. You told not. me you never absolutely said that. Absolutely not. On that tape. is not what we were talking but you about. Were on tape. That is not the question that you were asking me. This was in regards to a specific discussion. Check the tapes of what she said on Chuck Todd and Savannah Guthrie. Mm -hmm. She specifically said that I said and confirmed. 
that Donald Trump said a derogatory term <laughs> on a conference call with Jason Miller. That did okay, not happen. We'll get to Jason that Miller is what in a I'm second. refuting. What two happened today, tapes. Ed? What happened today is Omarosa yeah. submitted two different tapes to okay. CBS. I'm going to explain two different tapes. We're not going to get sidetracked one. by two different tapes. No, we have to. We're not going to be sidetracked. No, 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 no. Pardon me. It's our show. Hang on one second. That there are two different tapes. I will admit there's two tapes. I'm going to explain. It would almost be better to just deny having been on Fox News on Monday, right? When he says, listen, you were on here last night and you said she should say, I wasn't on this show. I, I just I wasn't here. Isn't Fox News supposed to be a safe space for these people? Apparently not. Not it, in this it, case. It's the minimum. It's just, hey, you were on and you said this. It's the obfuscation. And then here, Ed Henry, he tries to get really direct. He points out that at one point she said she admitted that Trump used the N word, but it was just to move on. OK, can you imagine that? Admitting that the boss used the N word about black people, even though they really didn't, because you just wanted to get on to another topic of conversation. Like, who would do that? And if that's true, that should be the discussion. So here's the next portion of this. I'm going, to, I'm going to lead this discussion. And the fact of the matter is today you clarified and said, no, I just said, yes, he moved. He used the N word because I wanted to move the conversation along with that was Omarosa. a different discussion. OK, there's multiple <laughs> discussions. Why yeah. didn't you if that's the truth? Why didn't you tell me, Ed, you know, I don't know all the details of this book. I haven't seen it. But I did say, yes, he used the N word to move the conversation along. Because you didn't say that last night. You I changed asked, the story to The today. question I was asked about this conference call with Jason Miller, the answer is no, that was not said. The transcript is right here, both calls. The, set, the first call that you're talking about where mm -hmm. she's claiming that I said that was in a totally different call where she was arguing <laughs> with Lynn Patton what? about the existence of this tape. Okay. But let me explain something to you. I'll Omarosa, give you one last thing, yeah. Omarosa has been using this tape to manipulate people. She is a bully. She is pushy. She okay. is a dog with a bone with okay. this tape. You keep and using people dog. We're going to get to that her. in a moment, too. People but pardon me. placated her in personal discussions. Just keep attacking her. Let's go to facts and not attacks. Okay? Absolutely. This is just unconscionable. And once again, she's there trying to defend the indefensible. As I said earlier, she might as well have just denied that she ever made any claims or even appeared on Fox News because it's just as unbelievable. And then she goes into what works for Trump which is not only criticizing and smearing Omarosa, but even criticizing her and smearing her with the same word, dog. Let's look at just a little bit of this. Let's get to the substance. On that call, you say in your statement today that basically um, we were just sifting through rumors. Yes, in the Jason Miller call, he was a campaign aide. In fact, we have the transcript that you provided. Yeah. OK, and here's what is on the tape. Jason Miller says it's kind of tough to go out and draft something, meaning a statement about whether the president used the N word when you don't even know what the context is. You know, I hate to start emailing stuff around that's when true. we're just not. Do that's sifting that's through true. rumors. Do it. Guess what Katrina Pearson says? Yes, it's true. So you were said, not that's just sifting true. Through. That's true. You don't want to go around making these accusations you and said, coming up with statements. No, it's true. Hang that on. is very true. No, and if you're you back up, Lynn you Patton say, says the same thing. Hang on. You just misquoted yourself. You just said, <laughs> I said, that's true. No, you said, it's true. The this I is the best. Katrina Pearson comes in, okay? <laughs> she hands a transcript of the call. It's her transcript, her, her reading of the call to Ed Henry. Ed Henry reads it and says, here's what your transcript says you said. She goes, that's not what I said. Katrina, it's your transcript. There is no more shame than this. And this is part of, you know, the alternative fact stuff, the post-truth era, call it whatever you want. She could have started at the beginning and said, you know, I don't remember such a conversation. Right? Yeah. I just I just don't remember the conversation. I have a million conversations during the campaign. She could have said almost anything. But instead, she said that conversation, I was never party to such a conversation. And you know that Trump's going to add insult to injury, too, right? He's going to scold her for not defending him well enough, for not uh, denying that Trump ever used the N-word strongly enough, for getting caught in these web of lies. Well, you have to assume she knows Trump is watching, and at some, po some point we'll see it. And by the way, side note, if you look at this clip I just played for you on Fox News' YouTube channel, the comments are just slamming Ed Henry as if he's the problem here and not the unabashed lying. Reality and truth do not matter anymore.